Hi, I'm Eric Kai, the chemical statistician, and today I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for carbon dioxide. A Lewis dot structure is simply a diagram that accounts for the number of valence electrons in the constituent atoms, and it shows where the electrons are located, whether they're in a bond or as a lone pair of electrons. To begin, we need to count the number of valence electrons in the constituent atoms. We know that carbon has four valence electrons, and oxygen has six valence electrons. Since there are two oxygens, we need to multiply that by two. So there are four plus 12 equals 16 valence electrons in the constituent atoms. Now, we know that from the periodic table, and by looking at the trends on the periodic table, that oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So it makes sense then to put the more electronegative atoms on the periphery and put the less electronegative atom in the center. Now that we have the geometry, let's fill this diagram with those 16 electrons. To begin, let's draw the bonded electrons. And I encourage you to start by assuming that the bonds are single bonds. That's not necessarily true, but it's a good starting point. That takes away four electrons, so we have 12 left. It would be a good idea then to assume that those 12 remaining electrons are split evenly between the two constituent atoms that are on the periphery. So each of these oxygens will get six electrons. And these electrons have, of course, have to be lone pair electrons. So that's 16 electrons, but the carbon does not have a stable octet. The oxygens have stable octets, but the carbon does not. So we need to rearrange these electrons so that the carbon has a stable octet. And we can do that by moving two pairs of electrons into the two, into the two bonds. So now we have 16 electrons and all three atoms have stable octets around them. As a final touch, it's a good idea to draw the electron domains as far apart from each other as possible. And by an electron domain, I mean either electrons in a bond or electrons in a lone pair of electrons. So, We will draw those remaining electrons like so. And that is the Lewis dot structure for carbon dioxide. If you would like to learn more about statistics, chemistry, machine learning, or math, or if you'd like to get career advice for your professional development, then I encourage you to visit my blog, The Chemical Statistician. You can also find me on Twitter at ChemStatEric. Visit my YouTube channel to watch more videos on statistics or chemistry. 
And also check out my new talk show, The Chemical, this, excuse me, my new talk show is called The Central Equilibrium, in which I interview guests about technical, talk, about technical topics in math, science, or economics. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you learned something useful today.